In the real world, we hear sounds coming from all around, in front of us, behind us, to the sides, and even overhead. But when watching movies and TV shows, we hear sounds from speakers, at best arranged in a circle around our heads, in a so-called 5.1 or 7.1 surround system. But what about the sounds from above? If we can accurately reproduce these sounds in a TV or movie soundtrack, this would greatly enhance our sense of being there. The Dolby Atmos sound system does exactly that. Sound mixers precisely place individual objects, planes, cars, people, birds, and anything else, anywhere around and above the listener's head, creating a much more realistic, immersive experience. There are two ways to enjoy the full benefits of a Dolby Atmos soundtrack at home. You could add ceiling speakers to a traditional surround system, like a Dolby Atmos commercial movie theater, or you could use a new speaker developed by Dolby that delivers sound from above without actually putting a speaker on the ceiling. We're here at Dolby Laboratories in San Francisco, and I'm speaking with audio expert Brett Crockett. He's going to explain how this new amazing technology makes the Dolby Atmos enabled speaker possible. Thanks for joining us, Brett. Thank you. Okay, so if we're not physically putting a speaker on the ceiling, how does Dolby make it seem as though we are? In its simplest terms, it's a reflection of sound off of the ceiling. So that's an upward firing speaker. It's a combination of very specific speaker design and characteristics that we define, as well as perceptual processing that's in the speaker itself. Normal speakers have a wide dispersion pattern because you want to cover as much of the room as possible. But for a Dolby Atmos enabled speaker in the top firing speaker, we actually specify a very directive dispersion pattern so that you get as much energy off of the ceiling when it reflects. But that's not enough, so we have to take into account our knowledge of perception. When a speaker is above you in the ceiling, you actually being there interferes with the sound in very specific ways. Right. And so you actually introduce changes to the audio that your ears pick up as perceptual cues. The pinna actually frequency shapes the sound. It has resonances that it introduces from sound from above, but also from sounds that come from directly in front of you. And so we add that filtering in the Dolby Atmos enabled speaker to introduce the perceptual cues to fool your ear into thinking there's a speaker in the ceiling. And we also have it at an angle so that you don't get any reflections off of the back wall, which will interfere with the effect. When we went about designing and introducing Dolby Atmos to the home, we had a mission to make it sound better than it's ever sounded before. Mm -hmm. But we also had a mission to make it as easy as possible. We can't expect all consumers or most consumers to put a speaker in the ceiling. Mm. And so that's why we invented Dolby Atmos enabled speakers because we want this to be mainstream, widespread, because the experience is magical. Want to learn more? Check out our next video, where we reveal the science behind Dolby Atmos enabled speakers. And if you want to check out how these speakers are made, we sat down with a few speaker manufacturers for an inside look in our final video.